No Love in LA by Palais Royale is the song I'm talking you through today. If you haven't liked and subscribed to this channel, if you could do that first, that would help me out tremendously. And if you want the notation, or if you just want to help support this channel, there's some links below in the description for you to do that. So like all my tutorials, I'm gonna play the rhythms, or the main rhythms, up to speed first of all, so you can hear what they sound like, and then I'm gonna break it down with on-screen notation and talk you through it bit by bit. So we've got this intro, it's just a two-bar pattern before we come into the verse. Have a listen, sounds like this. So we've got some eighth note off beats with the hi-hat. We've got a tricky bass drum pattern. Um, the snare drum is on the two and the four. Let's just go for it super slow. We're gonna go the first bar. We're going to go one and two and the three and four and. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One and two and the three and four and so coordination wise when it's up to speed you might find that kick um, going into the three into beat three a little bit tricky because it's a 16th note it's quite quick one and two and the three and four and one and two and the three and four and then the bar just before the verse we're going to go one and two and the three and four so it's the same kick pattern up to three, and then it's just simply three and four and. So let's do the first two bars, like this intro, super slow. Three and four and. One and two and a three and four. Second bar, one and two and a three and four and. And then we get to the verse groove. Now the good thing about this verse groove is it's pretty much the same as the chorus, or the first chorus at least. Um, the last chorus does change, but I'll talk to you about that when we get there. So have a listen to this verse pattern. It's a two bar pattern, just kind of loops itself. Sounds like this. Okay, so occasionally on the second bar, on that last and, it has an open hi-hat, I'm not worried about that. There might be some extra crashes and slightly more open hi-hats throughout this groove, but again, let's just talk and concentrate on just playing the sticking and the coordination. The first bar is basically what we've just done in the intro. It goes one and two and the three and four and. The second bar, I've got a few more bass drums here. The second bar, we're going to go one and two two and the three and four e and second bar again two three four one and two and the three and four e and then again one and two and the three and four e and two bars in a row three four one and two and the three and Four, second bar, one and two and a three and four e and. So that is your verse. It's going to be uh, your chorus as well um, for now. Uh, there we get to the pre-chorus. Now the pre-chorus, it is exactly the same, but we're now playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. So it's starting to kind of get going a bit, it just flows a little bit more uh, with these eighth notes. Have a listen, sounds like this. So again, don't worry about the crashes and open hi-hats, we're just talking about the main groove. Coordination-wise, um, the kicks up to speed might cause you a little bit of a problem. Let's just break it down. The first bar goes one 
and two and da three and four and so let's just practice beat two to beat three because that's the tricky bit with the kick in between the hi-hat so we're going to go two and a three and again two and a three one more here we go two and a three I'll come back to that in a moment the second bar it's a little bit harder with this kick because we've got that same two and a three but then it goes and four e and so your right hand may want to go with the kick regards your coordination you might find it a little bit harder to control that hi-hat but let's just go through that second bar slowly we're going to go one and two and a three and four e and four e and and again last bit four e and whole bar three and four and one and two and a three and four e and two bars in a row two three four one and two and a three and four and second bar one and two and a three and four e and so that may take you a little while to get your head around the coordination then it goes to the chorus which we've already talked about it's the same kind of groove as the verse back into verse two again we've covered that um, and then it goes to the bridge section have a listen sounds like this So again, I'm not worried about the crashes or even the open hi-hats. You can do what you want. You can add loads of crashes just to rock it up. But let's just talk about this first. The first six bars, we're going to go one, two, three, and four, and. So your both hands together are playing one, two, three, four. Your kick is with the one and the two, and then three and four, and. Let's just do, let's loop that bar slowly three and four and one two three and four and beginning two three and four and beginning two three and four and one more two three and four and and then we have a crash symbol for one bar and then a rest for one bar and then we come back in which will be the ninth bar we're going to go one two three and four and now on beat two we've got to kind of stop we've got that dotted eighth note which means you've got to hold it on a little bit one two three and four and and then quick from that 16th note kick three and four and let's just do that first bar again three four so rest two three and four and and then the second bar or the tenth bar would be one two three and four and let's do the tenth bar again two three and four and one two three and four and and then we get to the last two bars our kick is playing eighth notes one and two and three and four and the hands are going just both 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 so let's just try the whole let's just loop that bar we're going to go one and two and three and four and again one and two and three and one more go one and two and three and four and now you might find this a little bit tricky so you might just want to get the kick going first of all one and two and maybe even slower and four and one and then we're going to add the hands ready one two three and one 
and two and three and one more and one and two and three and four and and then the last bar one and two and three four so that is the 12 bar bridge and then we go into the chorus of a very very last chorus it picks up a little bit it's a 12 bar pattern have a listen sounds like this So again, you can add loads of crash cymbals with this section. You can really rock it up. I played it pretty straight there just so you could see what was going on and make it a little bit clearer. Um, but you can open the hi-hats, let them really sound trashy and go between your crash cymbal and just really rock it up for this ending. Um, it's pretty much kind of the rhythms we've covered. The, the first bar of the chorus is just everything together. One, two, three, four. The second bar, one, two, three, and four. Four and third bar, same again. One, two, three, four. And the fourth bar. One, two, three, and four. And then we've got four bars of just quarter notes. One, two, three, four for four bars. And then the last three bars. Now, you're kicking your right hand to play an eighth note. One and two and three. And, and your left hand is going to add the quarter note on the one, two, three, four. So let's just slow that down. So we're going to go one, two, left hand, two, three, go. One, and two, and three, and four. And again, one, and two, and three, and one more. One, and two, and three, and four, and four. And then, like I said, you can open the hi-hats. Play between the hi-hats and crashes and just kind of really rock it up at the end. So let me know how you got on with this video, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.